Should you leave or should you squeeze? Well, today the <laughs> queen of skincare, Karen Hirons, is back alongside some willing volunteers <laughs> with the ultimate guide to pimple popping. Can I mean, I if that you're having you? a little elevensies snack, you might want to put that it's, down. I promise it's not going to be graphic. Okay. It's okay. I know you, you two always look worried when I'm We've on. only just cleared up yesterday's <laughs> custard from the car park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, there's no custard. It's fine. OK. OK, so essentially we asked for three willing, happy volunteers. Yes, which we and have. we couldn't get Thank any, you. so I dragged them in. <laughs> so what I wanted, to, more importantly, to demo when you should not pick. OK. And as a sort of... Cos I'm trained, obviously, I'm qualified. It also means I'm insured, so if anything goes horribly wrong, we're fine. OK. But it, I, I would rather tell people how to do it, because as much as the industry would say, oh, you shouldn't pick, mm. we all know that you do. We have one. As a miracle, we'll come to my one-off child. But she doesn't pick. It's a right, miracle. Wow. But do you know anyone who doesn't pick? There's a satisfaction. I can't and leave all, it. Also, I if you're going on air, I have Holly, to just get and there. you have a big white head, that's coming no, off. No, I don't want to look at it. it. Okay? I don't want to look at it. So, here we have lovely Sam. Hello, love. Now, Hi. Hi. This is going to be a you-do-not-mess face. Right. The reason Sam is a great example is because her acne wasn't traditionally acne, it was hormonal and it came and went, I, am I correct in saying more in line with your children? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And it's cleared up a bit because she's had some sunshine. Right. But you could, if you wanted, you know, at the moment, we've got maybe one here where you could, if you were a picker, you might have a go. You, I would not, if, if Sam came to see me for a facial, I wouldn't touch it. Right, okay. I would do lots of other because things. Because you're going to make it worse? There's, you can't see anything you can get at. The, right. the key word is extraction, not pick and pop. If you see something you can extract, then we're good. And we have one coming up. OK. But if there isn't, then yeah. it's... So what do you just do a red lump. If it's red, leave it alone. So you just get on with it. You get on with it. Buy a good concealer. To, and there's a couple of things you can use. So, look, you've got things like Paula's Choice do this. It's called Calm. It's a BHA ex lotion exfoliant. You've had BHA a lot on this show. It's, a, it's an acid that will just slowly help dissolve the spots inside. Mm. So it hasn't really come to a head. So is there such a thing as, um, as when you, you, you see my grandma saying, you know, well, you need to draw that out? Can kind you of. draw something out? Kind of. But also... in. In this day and age, you don't want to draw out in too an intensely a way because you're going to dry out the area around it and then when you do go in and pick, there's nothing there to buffer it and you're going to scar. So for someone like Sam who has three kids, really busy, no time, she can do something like an evening spray on exfoliant. So this works really nice. You just literally quick squirt before you go to bed and then you can't say, oh, I've got no time, I've got the children. <laughs> right, done. Right? <laughs> OK, so, so no we're moving for you. On. Well done. Yeah. Don't this is alone. Courtney. Hello. This Hi. is Courtney, who I actually prefer to call Rachel Vice. Look at this. It's, <laughs> oh, it's yeah. uncanny. Oh, yeah. Now, we have a more traditional... Would you, are you happy with the word acne? Yeah. Skin, which again came on in an old age. Not everyone is a teenager. This is right. another thing that's important to remember because any woman who suddenly comes off any contraception that was hormonal uh, is going to have a skin like a teenager because your hormones just do this. Right, right, right. So, again, what we've done is left what we could have. Now, we could, if we wanted to, see if you can come in here. Yes, There's like tiny, tiny wee little whiteheads. <laughs> I think, I said to Courtney afterwards, now, I could get those out, but if it was you, I'd say leave it for a couple of days because what you're going to find is when you cleanse, that's going to knock off with a flannel anyway. Right, OK. OK? So if you're drawing product out, we go straight back to our standy old jojoba. Yeah, this was a revelation yep. when you said this the From other day. From Neil Yard. It's the, it's the most... Um, the oil that's most close to the skin's natural sebum, so we're not going to cause any further harm. Right. OK? And then to draw out, you've got things like Sunday Riley makes a specific oil, and it's called UFO Acne Treatment Face Oil. Mm. So if we were to take a couple of drops of this, and I'm leaving all the girls with the product too, so they can be our dummies, literally, and apply it tonight, tomorrow the next day it will either go back in on itself or it will come to a head, and when Courtney and cleanses, it will come off. people watching this going, oil? On spotty skin? Are you joking? 100%. But it's the... If it's the right oil. If it's the right oil. OK. So her hoe was close to sebum. There are other oils that would just clog the pores. OK, OK. OK, now some Here action. Here we go. Action? OK. <laughs> You've got the right colour on. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's nothing scary. Mr Schofield, please behave. Okay, OK, this is lovely Jess. Jess. Now, Hello, Jess. Jess is my prime species because... First of all, I'm going to glove up. Um, what we have is a mixture of hormonal mm. and stress. Now, Jess, a big round of applause, has just finished uni and is now a lawyer. Oh, well wow. Done, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> she also, though, went on a bit of a bender. Oh, right. <laughs> and okay. it was her brother's 18th. Oh, well, you've yeah. got to do that. So there's some alcohol issues. Mm -hmm. Not with her, with her skin. <laughs> <laughs> her mother's going, what? <laughs> what a time to tell us on the television. <laughs> so I, I, you don't have to do this at home, but it is not my skin. So here, now, this is a 
peach prime red, but there's nothing to pick. Yeah, there yeah. doesn't. It looks right? like it's under the there's skin. There's nothing there. there. However, if we move up, see this nice little white head here, right between the eyes. Oh yeah, and the old eyebrow. Now this is also. I'm just going to get my tissue. This is also a bit of stress. We had a long talk about stress, didn't yes. we? And now you're not stressed and they're all going to go away. <laughs> also quite common with girls and boys, obviously, who thread or pluck anything like that. Ah, uh, because it blocks. Okay. Clean. Everything has to be so clean. You can't do it when you're wearing makeup, and that's why I always say don't pick into a mi in a magnifying mirror if you've already got your foundation on and things. Mm. Clean skin. Not everyone's got latex gloves. They don't need them. That'll frighten your parents if yes, you find those under the bed. <laughs> so, Not latex. Uh, so make too sure many you wash your, wash your yes. hands. Everything's clean and tissue, and obviously. So you don't dry. need to steam the skin or do anything like that. You, if you have to steam, I think you should leave it to the pros like us. Oh, personally. oh really? I used to bat, 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 hot water in a head of a bowl. We're gonna have to have words. <laughs> right. I mean that you, you, that you're on dent. You knock that you, off and you can I scold know, yourself. You true. could, but only if say you wanted to make this really juicy and ready to go. And it's really simple. If it's ready to go, you should literally be able to do that, and it's out. And so you can't when you say do it. that, what did you do? Push down and no. In? Yeah, you come. Now, I can feel under there that there is a hair about to come out. Can you feel that? It's like an ingrown it's hair. It's an ingrown hair, yeah. So you come down alongside the spot, up and then up. You don't do this. There's oh. none of this and there's none so of this. So you're almost going under you it. Go to the sides of it, like side, across and up. The exit and if, is if here, do down, here and out there. Out, <laughs> exactly. Your exits are here, here <laughs> and there. If, if, it, you, if it doesn't come out first time, leave it alone. If it does not come out first time, but you think you've, you've got one more go, you can, we, we would have two or three goes in the clinic. After that, leave it. Don't poke at it. Don't use pens or pins or oh. needles. <laughs> leave that to us, please. OK. Oh, and don't scar. Now, after this, I'm going to put a quick bit of salicylic acid on. Yeah. Literally, this is going on straight onto a bit of cotton. Perfect, and it's even called what does that teen mean? skin. This is going to make sure that it kills off any bacteria. And then I'm going to go in with a zero zit, which is a nice clear gel, straight onto it, seal it over, and we're done. And then you don't. And touch they're it both over calming, again. basically. Okay. Good. See, well no gore. Your dress is <laughs> intact. No, it's fine. Well, fine. well done, everybody. Well done. Thank Thanks, you for so doing brave. that. That was great.